Hi, this is Mark Laughlin speaking for the Ambidextral Gunfighter. You know, Forge Tech makes a really nice outside the waistband holster for the Keltec P17. Awesome little pistol here, 22 caliber. But if one wants to really take to heart the message of my video, how the 22 wins, 9mm versus 22 long rifle, we really need an inside the waistband holster for the Caltech P17. Now, what I really wanted was a DeSante Slim Tuck holster like this one here for the that I have for the uh, Mossberg McTuzzi. Uh, the DeSante Slim Tuck is very compact, and then I remove the, all that adjustability stuff so that the, the belt hanger hangs down much closer next to the holster, the body of the holster. But they're very slim, very thin, very thin, very slim holsters. And that's what I would really like to have for the Caltech P17. Unfortunately, DeSante does not make a holster for the Caltech P17, and as best as I can tell, no one else does either. So I set out to manufacture my own. Now, after watching a few YouTube videos, I built a Taco Kydex holster press using about $20 worth of materials. And I took the time to add a, a little, you know, rounded the edges off a little bit and uh, sanded the edges down. And then I applied six, uh, six coats of polyurethane not only to make it look cool but so that stickers would adhere to the to the to the holster press then a couple of anti-fatigue mats were uh, attached with velcro to the the press and then i uh, found a kneeling pad at the local uh, home improvement store it was a kind of an insulite looking rubber foam and i'm going to use that for the holster press uh, the, you know, generally you purchase a special uh, holster press foam and I just didn't want to drop like 40 bucks and wait for it to get here and I thought hey this foam here looks like it ought to do the job uh, I was kind of worried that it might not hold up to the heat but so far it seems to be a workable alternative to the more expensive foam at, at least for the low volume holster maker and uh, then I ordered some sheets of Kydex and a few miscellaneous screws and a belt clip hanger and stuff like that. And my first attempt was an embarrassing mess. And it just didn't work off, so that's garbage. My second attempt has proven adequate for my needs, at least until DeSanti releases a Slim Tuck holder, holster for the P17. Now, when it comes time for me to design my own, own holster for the Caltech P17, my design criteria as a uh, newbie holster maker was first to make it as slim as possible. So I want I used a, a 060 uh, six hundredths of an inch thick Kydex material, and then I want to make it fitted in such a way that the safety is held into the safety position so you can't uh, can't put it in the, it won't go in the holster with the safety in the down position and if it's once you get it in there it's not gonna by any means whatsoever come off of the safe position and then I wanted uh, some subtle you know channels for the takedown levers that are on the takedown tabs that are on both sides of the pistol and I wanted good coverage around the trigger guard and also to wrap around the paddle magazine release to guide, guard it to prevent accidental disengagement of the magazine. And then also I wanted a nice little bit of a wrap on the muzzle end as well. So anyway, uh, using the, the, the pistol, the, my pistol as a mold, uh, I, um, and then using balsa wood, I created blocking for the sight channel and for the takedown tabs, the, the trigger, uh, the safety, and then also where the, uh, the belt hanger was going to hook onto it. Because the belt hanger is going to run right there. So I need a little bit of spacing there as well. 
taped it all up with uh, masking tape and then uh, using our RV's convection oven I heated the Kydex. And while I was heating it, I used a heat gun uh, to sort of preheat the holster press foam. Now, I didn't preheat it r r a whole lot because I really didn't have a lot of confidence that my, uh, my kneeling pad foam was going to actually prove uh, resilient to heat. So once the Kydex reached adequate temperature, I placed it in the press and then forced the pistol down into the middle of the Kydex and then clamped the press close. And then let the set uh, let this all set for 10 minutes and then after the bell went off retrieve the shaped kydex now at this point you have kind of a almost doesn't look a whole lot better than my first attempt and then uh, I uh, drilled holes for the uh, for the for the attachment of the belt hanger and then put the screws in place to kind of Put the screws in place to kind of hold the holster in shape as I was cutting it and stuff. Normally most uh, professional holster makers will use a scroll saw to cut and trim back the excess material on your holster. Uh, so I, you know, we don't have room on an RV as RV nomads to store a scroll saw and don't want to drop a hundred bucks on something that I'm not really sure I'll use that much. So I used a hand coping saw and actually it worked pretty good. And I cut off the excess kydex and then roughly shaped the holster and then finish the edges with a Dremel tool. And I finished them kind of inside and out and kind of, you know, reshaped a little bit just to get it down to where it's symmetrical, uh, both inside and outside of the holster. So anyway, after I finished cutting it and shaping it, I mounted the belt hanger and using, uh, for spacers in here, I just cut off some, uh, got some rubber fuel line hose to cut it just to the length I needed for the spacer and yet have it to work it be a certain amount of adjustability so I could uh, add tension or re reduce the tension a bit so that the, the uh, pistol has good retention but yet I can get it out of the holster. I did use the heat gun uh, after after it was all trimmed and done to uh, curl in the edges around the, the trigger guard and uh, you see it curled in the edges around the trigger guard and up at the muzzle as well. And I had to be careful just to heat that up enough to make that flexible to curl it in but not enough to hit these other areas otherwise they'll just like flatten right back out. So anyway, I took it out, uh, tried it, uh, fits in there good, uh, took it out to the range, did some shooting, uh, drawing uh, from the, you know, doing my hip shooting and point shooting and even some two-handed shooting with the P-17 today. And, um, you know, I'm not, for inside the waistband holsters, I'm not exactly really keen on reholstering a pistol, at least especially with a, a round in the chamber. Uh, with the with the holster inside my waistband, I prefer to actually, when I want to reholster, take the holster out, put the pistol in the holster, and then put the pistol and holster back inside my waistband. Anyway, this, so I, as far as I know, this is like one of the first uh, inside the waistband holsters for the kel P-17. And if you want one, the ambidextral gunfighter manufacturing facility is over, open. And we're going to call them TAGM holsters, tag them, tag them and bag them holsters. Uh, you know, 120 bucks for a shitty handmade holster, free shipping, no customer service, no returns, and few fucks given. It'll probably cause a negligent, negligent discharge or maybe even blow up your gun, so there's that too. Each holster will include the GPS coordinates of the manufa manufacturer location and with any luck will feature improvements over this first prototype. Who knows when it'll ship, maybe in three days or three weeks. Or you can just build one yourself or wait for DeSante to release an affordable, well-made slim tuck holster like what we have here for the, the Mossberg McTuzzi. And uh, if you want to build one yourself, uh, you can uh, buy or build one of those taco presses that I used. Uh, 
Tagum will offer a fully assembled and polyurethane coated uh, taco press for $220, inclu includes free shipping. Uh, holster press foam would not be included. Uh, each press, just like the holster, will include the GPS coordinates of where it was manufactured. But you can find uh, instructions, uh, YouTube videos. I'll include links down below to YouTube videos on how to make your own taco press for about $20, $25 worth of materials, especially if you don't want to coat it with the polyurethane. If you just want to let it stay raw, that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just wanted to make it extra cool looking. So anyway, tag them and bag them holsters slim inside the waistband Caltech P17 so far it's like our only option uh, or make it yourself it's Mark Laughlin speaking for the ambidextral gunfighter please like share and subscribe thanks for watching